right. It's Oscar day. So I wasn't going to do this. I don't, I honestly, I don't give a shit about the Oscars. It just, I don't care. Uh, it's so rigged. Well, it's not even rigged. It's just, it's just stupid. Um, yeah, it's not my thing. I, I hate how only movies from like October, November, and December get nominated and like the rest of the year it just doesn't it just doesn't exist even if good movies come out. I mean look like Place Beyond the Pines, Mud, like all of these there's so many good movies that just short term twelve, uh the spectacular now, just pff, nothing. Even fucking prisoners didn't get anything besides cinematography. And he's gonna lose. But uh yeah, I don't I don't fucking care about the Oscars, but I'm going to do this just because it I want to see how right I am because it's so fucking predictable. So yeah. Um best picture, I have 12 Years a Slave. Um 12 Years a Slave was fantastic. Um it was a really great movie, it was a really powerful movie, but it wasn't directed super well. I don't know, it just it had good acting, but the acting was almost kind of characterish. Like Michael Fassbender was just really good, but he was just a little too much, but it's, it's one of those movies, like, it's just Oscar bait, um, well, either 12 Years of Slave or Gravity, one of those two, but since the new leader of the Academy is a, is a black woman, which, this, that's not, this isn't racist at all or anything, it's just, she's a black woman, and for the past few years, the Academy has been really, like, being sticked on for just being all white male, and they, for, going for like all white things so i think with the change this year they're really going to push 12 years a slave um but pretty much i feel like they're only going to do it in best picture best director is alfonso Cuarón's uh gravity i i was i'm like one of the only people that wasn't super mesmerized by gravity um best actor matthew mcconaughey i'm totally okay with that it's mcconaughey or leo um I, I want both of them, and this is the only time ever that I'll say I, I want someone to win over Leo. I think McConaughey did a fantastic job. Dallas Buyers Club would be my best picture. Dallas Buyers Club or Wolf of Wall Street, but... <clears throat> um, yeah, best actor is Matthew, I think, just because of the, there's whole, like, the uh, McConaissance going on. Everyone's like, McConaughey. Best actor is Kate Blanchett. Like, without a doubt, Kate, Kate Blanchett. Um... Best Supporting Actor, that's a hard one for me. I'm That's the only one I'm not super sure on. Um, it, 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 there's a bunch of ways it could go. I would love to see Jonah Hill win it, just because I think he did fantastic in Wolf of Wall Street. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really... Christian Bale is... This, no, he's not supporting. Bradley Cooper was. But um, yeah, I'd love to see Jonah Hill win it. Best Supporting Actress, um, it's between Jennifer Lawrence and, uh, the lady, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce her name from 12 Years a Slave, and I think she should win it. I th I don't think Jennifer Lawrence should win it, because she won one last year, and it's gonna start to get a little repetitive. Not, she's a fantastic actress, I just think that it's, people are gonna start hating on her if she wins another one, so maybe take a year off, she can win one next year, for David O. Russell's third collaboration with her. Um, cinematography is Gravity, which makes me sad because I think Prisoners had the best cinematography. Deacons every year gets nominated and every year gets snubbed, and it's fucking stupid. Um, the original score is Gravity. Gravity had a pretty good score. That's, that's the one I'm going to give it. It had a fantastic score. Going back to the cinematography thing, I don't think Gravity should win. It will, but I don't think it should because you can create fucking anything in a computer, and that's not cinematography to me. That's digital like you can make perfection like prisoners was lit it was lit by by lights like not created in a computer but whatever fuck me right life of pi won last year over skyfall so yeah best original score gravity um what else uh best foreign picture i don't know that's foreign picture um yeah, that's that's one I have. I haven't watched a lot of the foreign movies. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, best documentaries, Act of Killing. It, it that that's an obvious. Act of Killing deserves it though. The movie's fantastic. Um, so yeah, these, I mean, those are all the ones. Like best editing is Gravity. I don't know. Fucking 
Oscars. If if I'm right on even like half of these, I'll, I will just. There's so many things that deserve to win, and it just they're all gonna get snubbed. Sorry, Place Beyond the Pines, you're just not good enough. And Mud and Short Term Twelve and fucking Spectacular Now and Rush. It got oh best sound design. Probably Gravity. Probably Gravity or Rush. I, I I don't I don't know if Rush was nominated for that, but uh, it should have been because the sound design was fantastic. I don't even know all the nominees, and I, I can still guess, like, half of them. But, yeah, so Oscar's happening tonight. I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to watch True Detective. My review of True Detective, got two episodes left, will be up later tonight or early tomorrow. So, yeah, check that out and have fun with predictable Oscars. Bye, guys.